Here's my folks again, always doing something, something. <laughs> we are making crab paste with blue crabs. Using all the claws, the shells, the meat. My dad is just pounding it in this um, mortar with lemongrass. He's gonna let it ferment for a couple of days in the sun. My mom do it just like this. See what dad say? Back home, back in the day in Laos, he witnessed his mom making it. Yeah. Lemongrass, crab, smash, smash it all up until it looks like this, like a paste. Lots of manual labor. Smash, smash, manpower. Teamwork, teamwork. Baby, leave grandma alone. Come on. Baby. Any help? Using all the parts of the crab. And this is the meat, shells, eggs, body. Mom's chopping up into little pieces. Then my dad's gonna go ahead and pound it and smash it up. She already turned the poo already, look. Maybe we don't add the other leaf, remember? Yeah. Do you wanna try without it? Yeah, my mom doesn't put it. Okay, I don't let's know try why without it then. This is what it looks like smashed up with the lemongrass leaves. Only the leaves, not the stalk of the lemongrass, just the leaves. Didn't add any salt or any seasoning yet. Just using only the leaves, lemongrass leaves. My mom is actually going to blend in up the, the meats, the body part. Adding some of the crab juice. <laughs> it's just water actually, not crab juice. Blend it all up. Then putting it through a strainer. Okay, so blending. Pour it into the strainer. If you're wondering why it's so liquidy, it's because we added water.
still smashing away by hand. Actually, if you have a very powerful blender, you can use that to blend it all up. It'll be much more easier than pounding it. But we don't have a heavy duty blender, so some of it has to be by hand. And the soft shell body part, you blend it in that blender. Okay, my mom is adding water to the smashed up crab and lemongrass. We're just trying to extract the juice from both the uh, lemongrass leaf and the crab. So this is all eyeballing, so there's no measurements on how much water, how much crab, how much lemongrass. So my dad even found some dry lemongrass leaf. He's gonna add it to it too. Gonna strain this. On a bowl. Oh, well, actually, we're gonna squeeze out all the juice as much as possible. Squeeze, squeeze. It's easy. I'm going to go to the food. Flavor. I'm going to go to the food. Mmm, it's good. <laughs> yeah. This is the modern way to do it. This is the old fashioned, not modern. <laughs> old fashioned. Old fashioned. Okay, old fashioned way. How it you taste? We've done a, we done the first batch already, and it tastes pretty good. Prefer this over the ones that they sell in a jar. It has a stronger smell. This one is not too bad. You can control the fermentation. So we're just squeezing out all the juice. Dad's still working on that. Smash, smash, smash. <laughs> a lot of work. But they don't mind because they like fresh, fresh. <laughs> Not really fresh after you ferment it. It's stinky, stinky. <laughs> My dad says whoever wants to make this from scratch is going to end up having to spend about 100 bucks. Because for this amount that we're making right now, we spent 50 bucks on the crab alone. Not counting the lemongrass leaves. So, the fresher the crab, the better. And this is homemade, home style. <laughs> My parents are here vacationing with me for six months, and every day is something different, something new that I've learned from them and um, all authentic from scratch i didn't even know you can make homemade crab paste but here it is this is part of the process if you're gross grossed out by it too bad <laughs> you're missing out <laughs> this is how they make it too maybe worse back um, from the jars that you guys are buying they're probably using their feet to stomp who knows <laughs> our hands are pretty much clean we even wearing gloves so I personally think the more uh, hands-on food that you uh, do hands-on with the more flavorful it is <laughs> Now she's going to squeeze, I mean, pour this through the strainer. Our crab meat is already in there. Just adding this to it.
So the finer the the craft juice that you can make, the better it will turn out. Because all we need is just the juice. The juice from the smashed up crab and lemongrass. Beef. Oh, the lemongrass beef, yes. Yeah, and if you use the, uh, the stock one, don't you turn color. Yeah, don't use the stock, only the leaves of the lemongrass. This is about um, 22 crab, 22 blue crabs. But we're, like I said, we're not measuring everything, so we're just eyeballing it. And we're just adding added water to it, so I'm not sure how much water, probably a gallon of water maybe. No. Okay, so this is the one that my mom already squeezed out from. Now we're gonna try and uh, blend it. We're trying to extract as much as we can from this. This one, she already squeezed out all the juice. Now we're gonna blend it, adding some more water. See if this will work. Last batch is pounding that thing to smithereen. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm gonna try and pound out some more from the one that's already been squeezed out. So it doesn't really matter that much how much water you use. The only thing is if you use a lot of water then you would have to wait a long time to um, let it cook down. So the more water you use, the longer the cook time will be. Good, jam on. No, man, it's cold. That's why. If I have like a picture, it's gonna be only but. So from this, and then these are. He's still trying to extract the last of its juice. <laughs> And this is almost half a gallon right here. I mean, half a bucket. Of oh, the and I'm beefing. Don't matter. Oh, put in here. Hey. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's like. Okay, now we're gonna use, also add to it, are some guava leaves, fresh guava leaves. This is to help you di digest it better, that you don't get a tummy ache. So this is what we're gonna add, fresh guava leaves, Asian guava. Mom's gonna blend it. This is uh, one whole bag of guava, like the size of a one gallon bag. Probably about 45, 50 leaves. So 
slice it up and then we're gonna blend it It also gives it a very nice guava smell to it as well. into our bucket. And voila, this is the juice extract of the blue crabs, lemongrass, um, guava leaves. It's about three gallons. And what you need to do after this is we're just gonna let it sit in the sun for about two days, one to two days until it ferments or until it smells enough to your liking. This of course after that, after it's been sitting in the sun, you're gonna let it um, brew or cook down for a couple hours until it, the liquid becomes pasty. So keep in mind that the more water, water you add to it, the longer cook time it will take to cook it down. You want to you want to leave it out uncovered. So you don't want to cover it with a lid. You just want to use a um, a net like this, so flies and stuff don't get into it as it's fermenting. And that's basically it. You just let it sit out for two days, two or three days, depending on how stinky you like your crab paste. <laughs> Oh my goodness, you go more than stinky. <laughs> <laughs> but this there is how go. you make uh, uh, crab next, paste from yeah, scratch. Yeah, next part, yep. the next step. Uh, next uh, step uh, is uh, to uh, cook uh, it uh, down. Uh, yeah. Okay, as you can see, we are letting this sit out in the sun. We're going to let it sit out in the sun for a few days. And more importantly, as you can tell there are flies it does attract flies guys so make sure that you have a net covering like this okay um, you can't see it but we did add into the thing um, about five to six pieces of dry galanga roots okay so a dry galanga and so we're just gonna let this um, ferment in the Sun for a few days and then after that we will cook it down to a paste Okay, so after it's been sitting in the sun for two days, what we're doing next is we're going to cook it down you want on uh, medium to low heat for a couple hours. You're going to stir it as you're cooking it so that it doesn't burn. Okay, and next what my mom is add, adding to it is some purple rice or black rice um, that she blended 
with some kapha lime leaves. Hopefully this purple black rice will give it the darker color that we're looking for. Okay, so what she did is just blended up some. Actually, the purple rice was steamed and cooked first, and then she blended, adding some water to it to blend it. And now we're adding it to the pot of the crab broth. And basically, you'll just be stirring and cooking this down for several hours until it forms into a thick paste. using a strainer to strain this purple black rice so that you're just basically only getting the juice, extracting the juice. Okay. <laughs> okay, and how long do you think this will take? A couple hours? Maybe because uh, lots of water. Yeah, we added a lot of water, so it's gonna cook. Cook time will take longer. We're just getting this down to a paste, slow simmering cook. What my mom's adding now to it is some salt. Not too much, probably two tablespoons. Okay, so this is in brewing for about an hour and a half. Now we're gonna add some finely chopped um, galanka, about a cup, cup of finely chopped galanka. Okay. Still very liquidy, so it'll take another couple more hours before this turns into a thick paste. Make sure that if you're gonna attempt to make this, to uh, always do it outside because you don't want to brew this in your house. The smell will permeate forever. <laughs> so make sure you do it outside and that your neighbors are very forgiving. <laughs> okay, so after five hours, that's what it's condensed down to. That's the paste. Very thick. See? Yeah, should be like that. So that's it. It's done. Five hours. <laughs> stinky, stinky. Let me taste it. Mmm, yummy, yummy, Bingy yummy. Bingy looking good. <laughs> Finger looking good. Oh my goodness. Crab paste, you guys. Homemade. This is the homemade crab organic. Paste. organic. <laughs> it's very, uh, it smells just like um, the jar one, but even better because you made it yourself with fresh ingredients. And we're just going to yeah. let this cool and then we're going to bottle it. Good. Good. There you go. There it is. <laughs> Crab paste. It's good. Take a lot. Crab paste. See? Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the whole neighborhood stinks now. <laughs> it turned out perfect. Turn out perfect? Yes, good job, Dad. Good, yeah. good job. This is what? This is the one we needed. This is the Tai Lu style? Yeah. <laughs> Every time we buy in the store, two yeah. block and two yeah. stinky people eat it and get aching body. This is organic one. <laughs> According to my dad, it's organic. And voila! Homemade crab paste. 
made in the USA. Milpitas, California. <laughs> made by my dad and mom. Homemade, authentic crab paste. This is now ready to be used in papaya salads, uh, making hot dipping sauces, anything that calls for crab paste, you can use this in. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to share and subscribe.